Hello, Few Candy here, and welcome back to Funilla County. And I know I've kept you waiting with the City Skylines 2 launch, but we are going to come in and put in our downtown skyline today. Now, our downtown road network is huge, so we are just going to be focusing on the key skyline central business district with most of the skyscrapers in around this area, around our little kind of circular statue of industry, which is going to be pretty hard, actually, to get these buildings in in Vanilla around a circular centre like this. So there's going to be a lot of detailing to it, but it may look a little bit strange initially because we'll come in later and fill in some of the layers of height that are needed to graduate up to our skyline in future episodes. So we're just really focusing on that key viewpoint and kind of in terms of viewpoints, this is absolutely one of the key ones I'm looking for from down this road as we run up towards the statue there. And the other main viewpoint I want to be aware of when we're placing and designing our skyscrapers is this highway over here. Like I want this to look super cool and particularly this road as well when you come in down here into the city. We're going to need a nice view for that. So we're going to be placing an awful lot of unique buildings in here, which is going to bring in more tourists as well. So we have got the intercity trains now coming into our station over here. So that'll help bring the tourists in, but we're also going to want to plan our public transit around it. So let's get started. And the first thing that I do want to do is placing kind of the key focal points for our skyline. So obviously with this being a key viewpoint, I want to make sure we've got some nice towers around the back of it. And I am going to focus mainly on the Skyscrapers content creator pack for this, but we will be bringing in other vanilla assets and other assets from Art Deco, for example, also modern Japan and things like the modern city center IT cluster from the Green Cities DLC, uh, those kind of things. If you're missing any of the DLCs, please do go and check out my Insta gaming link in the description below for big discounts, which also helps to support the channel. So to kick this off, I kind of want one big skyscraper that is going to be the centre of everything, essentially, <laughs> in our downtown. And I'm kind of thinking the Six River Centre is probably the tallest one in the game. So I would quite like this, not directly on our circle, but somewhere kind of hovering a little bit in the background. So I'm just going to place that in there for now as a bit of a, a holding point. But we're going to build up around in front of it. And I do want one other tower, so I'm thinking the tall Bellini for this, which is going to kind of sit in front of it, but also slightly off centre to our statue. I don't want everything perfectly aligned to that, which I think is quite important when you're designing kind of unique looking skylines and authentic looking skylines, I should say, because not everything is like perfectly aligned. And these skyscrapers pop up over time in sometimes some kind of random positions. So I think we're going to use the Six River Centre with the Tor Bellini in front of it as the two kind of peaks in our skyline. So if we just have a little focus around this building here as well. So just to focus around this building here as well, I would like something that is centralised to this. And this skyscraper, the Euro Par Term, is actually quite a bit lower than them. So we're going to have that sightline through to the taller towers from here as well. And if we can get this nice and central in here, I think that this is going to sit in pretty well in front of it. So it's going to line up directly with our statue of industry in the background there. But because it's kind of got this like funny angle on the front, it doesn't look too blocky to me. Like it almost looks sort of curved from this angle, which I quite like. And then the wider base as well will lend itself nicely to being down on this road and in here, uh, provide a little space around the skyscraper there. But then right behind it, I'd like something kind of big and square on the corner. Like I'm really going to pack the skyscrapers into this little block here and have this be the main central business district ultimately. So I think I'm actually going to go for the MLM building. And I don't think we want the really tall one because that almost takes away from the tallness of the other two. So I think we'll go for the slightly lower one and place this in on this corner. And in terms of orientation, I think because we've got the buses and things running that way, let's position it actually onto this road so that some of the traffic isn't directly onto this kind of very busy collector ultimately that this is going to be there. And then we can check this out from different angles as well because it fills in that gap between those two towers quite nicely from over here. Um, it does align up directly behind the Europartum building so you can see here which gives it a little bit of width but also some depth and difference which I quite enjoy there. And then on this corner, I thought we'd use a kind of triplet of assets to create a nice little development here. So we're actually going to use these island park towers. Um, so I'm going to place in, I think, the tallest one up next to the Torbellini there. 
and I do want these all coming in in the same colour so I'm going to waste some money here. I want this red colour, <laughs> ultimately yes this one, because if we place three of these in and I'm just checking which one is the smallest one, this one, so we'll have this one on this corner, yeah so that's coming in this blue, let's just delete that out, we'll get the red version in like that and then we can place the third one over here and good that's coming in the same colour. So I really like how those three towers sit on that corner and it's very, very close to this one. Very, very close in fact. So we could actually move this one over slightly. I think that that would probably be the best thing to do here. So let's grab the Torbellini and we'll just drag it over one step. So we've got a little bit more of a gap in between those towers there. But you can start to kind of see this built up vibe and these layers appearing here. But yeah, really like this little triplet of buildings. And if you come down to the bottom of them as well, you've got all these like pillars to walk around, the benches at the back. Like it's really, really quite nice. If we were modded, obviously I would force in some pathways in between there so that we could get the citizens all walking around in between the towers. But I think for now, that looks pretty good. And then I want a couple more kind of blockier buildings, slightly less interesting on the shape to fill in this side. I'm thinking maybe the Marshalton Tower would sit quite nicely here, particularly because it's got that big sign, Chirpnet, <laughs> on the top, which I quite like overlooking our Statue of Industry here. It sits in quite nicely with the angles as well, going around the circle. Gives us a little bit of space to bring in some pathways and some plazas in between as well, which is quite important because these spaces are going to be seriously awkward <laughs> to detail in vanilla without surface painter and annoyingly we cannot plop the airport aprons over these skyscraper buildings so we won't be able to just fill in bits like this with concrete using that. And I'm thinking for the back here we're probably going to go for the marble building, the smaller one perhaps, maybe the big one. No I think the smaller one would be better here and let's again just make sure we're leaving a little bit of breathing room in between the buildings here to bring in pathways and plazas and car parking and things like that. And then we do have a nice little space here as well that we could actually zone something in to to fill that out. But in terms of the first block of our little central circle here, I'm kind of liking how that looks. If we come back to here, we can see as well, gives this really nice layered effect. And this is exactly what I wanted, is the peak off center to our statue, so that things don't look too symmetrical and too perfect in that sense. And I think it adds uh, an element of realism doing that. And then just checking over from our highway over here, it looks pretty built up and busy at the moment and that's really what I want. I want this to feel like quite a large built up downtown. Very packed in is really what I'm going for here. So if we come onto this block here, I actually want to move away from some of these uh, skyscraper buildings and use something a little bit different here. So I'm thinking the Science Centre would be quite nice because we've got our park over this side. So if we can find the Science Centre that is, this one, I feel like this would be quite nice overlooking the park. And it also is a nice big blocky building, but not so tall. So it gives us that kind of gradual build up in height as well, which is going to be needed next to our park area here. Yeah, I quite like how this sits on the corner and we can definitely do some cool things around this. Like we've got these pathways sticking out the back. We really want to connect those up. I love these little layers in the side of it as well. So I think that'll be a cool asset to have overlooking the start of our central park this side. And then behind it, I think to kind of like, because it's a super modern building, I think we might actually delve a bit into Africa in miniature. So I'm actually thinking, might place in this building, this side. It's a nice little piece of modern architecture. And again, behind the science building is giving us that gradual build up in height up to our peak as well, which we definitely want to do. We do want some like odd little peaks sticking out here and there too to add interest but in general we want to build up to our main downtown so i like the height of that and how that works there and then there's something quite different i think we might use the oran miller towers if i've said that correctly and place this somewhere in this middle bit here now it's not really aligning nicely to our road i might try and place a skyscraper into this corner and then see if we can come back to that in a minute I'd like something that is quite tall, but not too tall on this corner. We kind of have to just go through the skyscrapers and find one that fits. So it could be something like this. I'm not kind of too opposed to that. Not too tall, definitely not the taller one because that's going to kind of take away, I think, from our peak over this side. Um, we could also use the Tur Am Park. This would be quite nice, actually. And yeah, we can place this quite nicely into this corner. So if it sits there, I think we'll go for it. 
And again, just checking from all angles is super important for this. So we've got the science center in behind it. As so we come up here, it does, it kind of blocks the modern architecture from this side, but we do also have this collector here. Um, that's going to need to feel quite built up. We will put some more skyscrapers over this side so it's not such a stark transition. But again, we'll come on to that in a future episode. Yeah, I don't mind that building too much there at all. So let's go back and see if that has helped the zoning <laughs> to be able to put in our hotel in here. And yeah, it has actually. So that can sometimes work. Just placing in another building can sort of sort out the snapping on a building further down the road. There's a little trick there for vanilla. Yeah, I think if we try and place this nice and centrally onto this exit here, the concrete does kind of extend up round onto the roads either side. We've got little bits of clipping, but we can do some nice park kind of very small little planter decoration, I suppose, in some of these little gaps here and use some tiles, etc., to fill that in. But I really like that as a kind of point of difference away from these tall skyscrapers at the back to something really quite unique and special over this side. And I also think with the science centre there as well, this would be quite a touristy area and I can imagine a lot of tourists coming to this building to check it out. So we'll definitely do some path work in and around behind it and get people walking all around this area. But yeah, I think that sits in pretty well there. So just moving further around our central circle, I would quite like another tall tower over here. So we sort of look from this side. I definitely think we want another kind of spike in height which would be quite nice, I think, coming in from this direction too. So I am thinking the one for this might be one of the Japan assets. So potentially that, although it is it is a big one, <laughs> I think that maybe takes away from it a little bit too much. And this one's perhaps on the little bit of the small side. So I'm thinking the company headquarters, yeah, that is what it is, would probably sit quite nicely here. I think in terms of orientation, we'll go like this with the slightly wider pavement texture on the flow up into the st main statue there and have this a little bit close to the pavement. Because then we could actually zone in some modern city centre next to this. And I think it's going to have a sort of similar modern vibe with these little porchways and archways and things like that next to it, which could look pretty nice there. So there's not a lot else we could really fit in this gap other than some zoning and some detailing there. So we'll come back to that one in a second. But that does give us a really big pop in height right before we head in there. And just thinking as well from the park, it gives us some quite nice layers here too. And then we'll have relatively low buildings, I think, kind of surrounding this. Maybe a little bit of IT cluster actually behind here. So let's go ahead and start getting some of that in. And we'll actually just draw a little district here. And we're going to give it the modern city centre theme here. And then we'll come into high density commercial and we'll press play for this. I'm going to leave a little gap for pathways there, but we do want to zone up. I think a nice big block of that to sit on the corner here, I think would look pretty good. Now here is going to be incredibly awkward. So I think we need to have some kind of detailed triangular park or something like that on the corner here. But we can then go ahead, hopefully, and zone in a little bit of the modern city centre commercial to kind of frame this run up into the main plaza there. And we could do a little bit on this side too. So let's maybe do a block of three. We'll see what comes in there. I don't know if there's any two deep assets actually within this. So we'll see what spawns in. Now here, I would like a corner asset on this corner. So I'm going to hope that something spawns in. We could actually just remove the zones either side for the moment so that we get that in. We don't want to leave just a, a one gap here, so we'll remove that here too. We'll wait for that corner asset to get in and then we'll zone out the rest of it around it. And while we wait for that, let's come on to this block because again, there's another unique building that we haven't used that I would quite like to use for this, which is the Grand Library. It's super modern, so it does kind of go with that theme. But I also think because it leaves quite a nice bit of open space in front of it, if we just ignore the horrendous vanilla trees, I think it's going to frame quite a nice run up to here, especially if we've got some of the shops along this side, a little corner garden over this side. It's going to give us a little bit of breathing room as we head on into that downtown, which I think will look quite nice. And then up next to it, I think we will do some IT cluster. So I'm actually going to extend this district out like this and then we'll go ahead and add the IT cluster specialization to it so that any offices we put in is going to be of the IT cluster nature. And we can start zoning in some along here. I think I'll leave a little gap here to make sure we've got spaces for pathways to run around. And I'm actually thinking maybe we could bring in a pedestrian pathway around here. 
So let's grab our blue stone one and we'll bring it out alongside our grand library here. Now annoyingly that does not stop in nicely so I think we will actually just delete out that connection there and we'll have this flow directly around the back like this and potentially across to here too. Could we, could we try something a little bit different? We'll see about connections this side in a second. But yeah, that should give us a nice uh, little framing to our grand library at least. And we could upgrade it to one with trees. I don't know if that's a little bit too much. So I think maybe we'll go for grass around here. Just because of the trees on the front of the library, I think that's probably going to overdo it just a little bit. And I think what I will do is actually separate these out. So we'll bring one down this way like that. And then probably do a little bit more IT cluster in here. So I think if we do this, I'm hoping that there's two assets that we're going to get spawned in here back to back. Really hoping that that ends up being the case, but we'll see what comes in. But I do quite like this one on the corner here. And we don't actually need to historicalize IT cluster because they're only one level, so they're not going to level up and change. We do need a pedestrian area on here, so let's not forget to do that. I think what we will do is just extend out our central one that we've already put in just to extend to this little area here. We'll see what else comes in there. We've got the modern city center assets spawning in over here, which is looking quite nice. This is not a corner one though. I really, really want a corner one. So I think we'll continue to wait for that before we zone in the rest of them. We've got another asset coming in there now. So we just need to enact a little bit of patience with these assets, see what comes in, get rid of ones that we don't like and keep the ones that we do. Have we got a corner? We still don't have a corner asset here. So let's go ahead and delete that. Now these do level up, so if there is one that you particularly like, then you can historicalize it. I'm kind of not that keen on either of these right now, like the black is very stark. Uh, so I'm hoping that they level up and change a little bit. And again, I can already see we do not have a corner asset on here. <laughs> let's go ahead and delete that out and eventually we'll get it in. Let's just divert our attention to this block over here now. So I would quite like the city services building or the servicing servicing services office. That's it. <laughs> I really like this one. These marble walls up against the pavement are just awesome. I don't know why these don't come down to pavement level. I've always found that a little bit weird in vanilla, but it's it's a nice asset. So I quite like that in there and it does add kind of space around it automatically, which is always a nice thing to have. And then I actually think we're going to extend into a little bit of Art Deco over here. Again, just to provide some interest around our main circle central area. And we're going to go for this Art Deco building. I'm going to place it like this. Now, the good thing about this is that the concrete kind of extends all the way up to the road there. So it doesn't look too strange in vanilla. And then we can just extend this little park area uh, around it to help detail out this corner. So it should look like it actually sits on this curvy road on the corner quite nicely in the end. And then next to it, we'll go back to our skyscrapers and find again something that is tall, but not too tall for this. So the one Galveston looks pretty good to me. If we can sit it quite nicely on this corner again. Yeah, so that concrete surface extends right up to the pavement. It's giving us some quite nice vibes in this circle here. If we just come out of that view, if we come on in here, You'll see it's starting to feel built up, but also like there, there is enough space and enough air, I think, between them that it feels relatively natural. And we get these different architectures. We sort of spin around all of it with the Africa buildings over here, very blocky skyscrapers over this side, but also some colour with the red and the, the glass, green glass. And then our Art Deco over this side as well. So lots of interest happening in this area. I really don't like this building. So. <laughs> Let's get rid of that and wait for something else to spawn. And yes, this is the asset that I want over here, because then if we do zone in just a little bit of 1D, we get some quite nice assets that almost look like they merge into it, almost wall to wall into the back of this asset. It does cover up that lovely entranceway a little bit, but it does look pretty cool in vanilla. So I think we'll try and go for that design and have two of these back to back with a little bit of that one by one zoning next to it. I'm jumping around all over the place here because there's so, so much going on in the downtown. But we do want to add in one more building to here. I'm thinking perhaps this Tour St Dennis would be quite nice here. So let's leave a little gap in between this one so that we can add in a pedestrian road or a path or something to that effect, potentially bring it out over here as well. But that is kind of the main skyscrapers into that central area. So we can see, we can check it out from down here. I really like it. It feels very 
blocked in and packed in. It feels like a big city centre downtown. Um, and I do like the pops and height that we've got going on there. So I'm pleased with that angle. And over here from the highway as well, I think it does need quite a bit of filling in either side of it. So we definitely need some more buildings in here, but we'll add some zoning in there. And I think that that will help it. But overall, I'm quite pleased with that, with our kind of two major pops and height. This needs some stuff <laughs> around it too. So yeah, let's have a little look at that now. But before we come on to that, just a little reminder that if you are enjoying the video, likes and comments are really greatly appreciated. And please do subscribe to the channel if you are new to it. Over 60% of my views are people that are not subscribed to the channel. So it'd be great if you could hit that subscribe button and help us on the road to 30k subs. So the Takashiba Tower just happens to sit in really nicely into our existing road network here. So I kind of think we just have to go for that. And from this side as well, I mean, it's so in shadow, so we kind of have to ignore the vanilla shadows and try and see the best we can. It does add a nice layer in front of that super tall Six River Center tower that we have there. And I think I'd quite like to add in some more sort of interesting shaped buildings around the front of it. So yeah, this little tower, I definitely want to use that. I really like the shape of that. I think that's quite unique. And there's also the circular one as well. Yeah, this one. I'm thinking again, the shorter versions because the tall ones are really, really tall. And we kind of want to build down the layers around this area. So I think that this would be a little bit more appropriate. So let's also place this out onto that road and that can act as a nice kind of framing in front of that tower there. And then we also have these one Montgomery and one Ember Cardero. <laughs> I'm going to absolutely butcher these names buildings that we haven't used here too. I think they might be quite nice in combination. Again, just making sure that we're layering down the heights with these. We'll definitely make sure that this is snapped to the side street and not on our main kind of couplet flowing through there. But they step up really quite nicely, I think, to the Six Rivers Centre. So I'm, I'm sort of pleased with that. It does mean we have got three buildings very much in a row here. So I think some zoning in front of that is definitely going to be needed. Perhaps some IT cluster, even Green City uh, high density housing as well is quite tall. So that will add to the effect around this area. But yeah, in general, I'm quite liking that. And we can see the little peak down from here, actually, down into the main square. Yeah, we definitely need some zoning in this side. And it's just occurred to me with the station here, it would be quite nice to use some of those modern Japan buildings, the rail yard shopping centre and also the station department store. I think they always go really nicely outside a station. And they'd probably be quite nice sort of medium height buildings to have along our couplet here. But that's going to feel very <laughs> built up this side. It might be worth leaving a little bit of building room. Or could we put them in back to back? We can. We can. It's very built up. I'm worried that it's kind of extending onto the road a little bit too much there. And I wonder if actually this other asset, if we swap these over, I think that might be a better formation for them. Let's just grab that, we'll place it over here and we'll swap these around like that. And then, yeah, that does feel like it's got a little bit more room, at least to the road here. So yeah, a little bit happier with that, I think. And we can have this one on this side because it's almost like, yeah, this, this front of it almost overlaps this road, which is pretty mad, actually. Never noticed that before. Of course, we do have buildings like the downtown hotel that might be quite nice in here. I'm wondering if coming up from this plaza, we could add it to this corner because it's got that corner hotel sign on it. I quite like that opposite those. And then we could probably do a bit more modern city centre zoning, I think, next to it. So let's grab some. It could even be actually generic high density commercial for this. Let's actually just go ahead and fill out all of this. We can bring the road network around the back of it just to fill that out afterwards. Let's see what we get there. So I think that is in general the main skyscrapers for our central area here. I know we've extended out a little bit, but we will be coming back to this area. So I want to kind of do a bit of a gentrified industrial type area next to our train tracks over here. So I think that that could look pretty cool. And then the plan over this side as well is we'll have a courthouse government district over here, a nice parkland in the middle, possibly a stadium over this side. Lots and lots of housing at the front, around the back, all around it essentially as well. So I think once it all comes together, it's going to look pretty cool. So it is now a case of going around and making sure some of our zonings are suitable around our main skyscrapers.
Okay, so we've done a bit of asset selection here and there. I have finally got a nice corner <laughs> over here. So that is brilliant news. The modern city center over here was just not working for me. So I've actually zoned in a bit of office. So we'll see what happens when that comes in. I'm not super loving all of the car parks out the front. So we'll just get rid of that for the moment and see if we get something better. I have also over here added in a small section of Hearts of Korea commercial. As you can see, some of these buildings are actually pretty tall and blocky once they've upgraded. So I have had to trim it back a little bit um, to have some lower assets here and there. I quite like these car parks out the back here. We do need to sort out this path and some of the detailing around this because it looks incredibly patchy. But um, all in all, I'm quite liking those towers sitting in there. It feels really nice and built up. Then we've just got a little small bit of small commercial and small offices down here. I did add in actually the extra Japanese office tower as well. So we've got that in there now. And yeah, a little bit more zoning in and around places. So a bit more of the modern city centre commercial around here. So you can see like this high street here, we've got all the skyscrapers and then the shops. Um, it's all very in shadow, but it's super busy. Like there's cars everywhere. We massively need to sort out the bike lanes and the roads and the parking and things like that on the roads. We don't want people parking absolutely everywhere. We will be bringing in some parking lots on the outskirts. I just didn't want it right immediately in the center. And there were also quite a few assets where parking lots have spawned and appeared on them. There are bits of parking here and there. But let's firstly talk about bike lanes and then we'll come on to actually public transit as well and developing out our metro network around our town center. Um, but in terms of bike lanes, I have noticed that we have massively failed to upgrade our main road through Tyler Town Centre here. So the bike lane just kind of stops here and it does flow on into various different... Uh, actually, does it? No, it doesn't. It doesn't <laughs> It doesn't even flow on into various different districts here. So we need to sort this out. We definitely want to have a uh, bike lane road in here. So I'm thinking we'll stick with the concrete median for now and we'll just upgrade all of this. Let's make sure we have got zoning on so we're not blocking anything that may be zoned along here. Um, in fact, actually, I think we wanted it off on this side. Yes, to not interrupt these Brooklyn's and Queen's houses, which have now just disappeared, but never mind. And we'll do the same thing here. Then let's make sure it's on going up the rest of this road. Uh, we'll fix that in a second. So we definitely want it coming on and into here. And then that hooks into the bike network that is currently going all the way around our city center around here and heading out on this way. So we'll continue that on there. But I think it would also make sense to continue up on over this bridge so that cyclists can get around here, up and over the bridge and onto the other side of our network here. And we could actually upgrade this through road as well, just to keep the cyclists flowing. And then it joins up actually to the bike network this side as well, which we've already got in. So that's good news. That should give them some pretty good access around the main city centre here. Now for these other roads, I don't, I'm not too keen on the parking all the way up them. So we definitely want to go ahead and upgrade some of these. So we could even have like some of this up here, which I don't mind in front of the shops. I quite like that. We'll obviously come through and change the trees up as well. 
I'm thinking here it would make sense to continue those bike lanes on. So let's go ahead and do that through this district here. Again, we don't always need the median. So I think we should experiment in areas without it a little bit too. So here the median is probably warranted. So let's actually just go ahead and get our bike lane road in again there. We can have a strip of grass, yeah, don't mind that. And we could actually follow this on up this way up to this main street. I don't mind the parking on the side streets. I'm not bothered by that. I think that that is absolutely fine. Go for the tree lined one again here. And same goes for this bit actually. Like we don't want <laughs> lots of car parking up the road in front of our station. So we'll get rid of that. Again, we're going to have a multi story and things like that. So a couple of them, I think, next to the station over here. So there will be parking available to people. And then we have this road. Again, I'm thinking because we've got the bike lanes there, let's actually do that. Let's actually add in a little bit of a tree line over here. And we do want to go ahead and upgrade some of these trees. So I'm thinking something relatively small and kind of inconspicuous, not too obvious. We could even go for some of these in places. Let's actually mix it up. They don't always have to be exactly the same after all. And actually, yeah, the Eastern Cottonwood. I quite like that vibe in front of the shop. So I think we'll go for that there. Then we'll spring back to our generic pines over this side and then maybe a bit more of the cottonwoods in front of this IT cluster here and just to change it up so not everything is super samey all the time. So that extends our bike networks. That's really, oh goodness, so there's loads of people using it already. <laughs> it's, uh, it's wonderful to see, absolutely wonderful. We haven't really experimented with policies yet, so that could even increase the number of people biking as well. Um, we will do a policies episode at some point and add some policies to different areas. But let's now talk about public transit and it's metro really at the moment. I think for the tram network, we've just kind of got this little loop. We have a look in here going around the main town centre at the moment. We have got stops on pretty much every corner, so I'm kind of OK with that for the moment, really. We will extend the tram network out in various different directions. So I'm thinking probably this road here and likely this one. So it's going off in those three directions. And of course, looping back up to our tram network down to the Palavan Pine Professional Park down here as well. So that will all happen later once we continue expanding out. But we do want to extend the metro because we've got stations here doing absolutely nothing. So let's bring in some connections for them. And one asset I'm really keen to use is the Railroads of Japan Modern Metro Terminal. Like, this is really nice. I actually think on this corner, it sits in pretty nicely next to our Grand Library. Like, look at the detailing on this. Amazing. You can see into the food shops and everything. Absolutely love, love, love this asset. The rooftop bar as well. So yeah, we'll have that in there next to our Grand Library. And while I'm at it on this little area, I would like to put something framing our city. And I'm thinking the large glass roof plaza with fountains would sit in pretty nicely here. I don't know why the ground texture is uh, bumping up. We'll have to have a look at that. We've probably got a bit of bumpy ground. But yeah, having this archway as we come on down into the main downtown with the park on this side, of course, and all the built up infrastructure over here, I think it's going to look pretty nice. But yeah, I'm quite keen to have that in there. We'll see if we can sort out the terrain issues afterwards. But just coming back to the metro, so if we have this in here, I'm thinking what we will do is bring up a stop from this metro station here. So we could use just the little Railroads of Japan metro entrance because it's only a one by one block. So we can squeeze it quite nicely in here. And that will mean we've got a bit of a metro interchange over in this district over here. So they can come from this metro. I think we'll probably have another stop somewhere in this district. So. Let's go relatively central with it and say here. And I think actually instead of the tidy one, <laughs> now that I've put that in, I think we'll actually use this slightly larger station for this area because we'll have some high density housing around it. So I think that that will look quite nice there. So it'll come up from the station through this housing district, stopping here to get to the Grand Library, coming into the centre, down round into the transport hub and then I'm thinking we might go on up over to this side into Magnolia Square so we could add an, another one of these stations on this corner here which I think sits in quite nicely in front of our tower there we've got little spaces to fill in with some detailing but that should be a pretty good metro line I think so let's go ahead and get that in
happy there we go so we'll see how many people actually use that um but beyond that i'm kind of like pleased with how this is looking if we just check our main viewpoints like from over here that's really quite a glorious downtown i actually am super super pleased with how that looks it looks really packed in and built out and natural actually and quite authentic and then also from over here as well we get these lovely kind of like pops in height as we go on it sort of flows these little tiers down this side really really enjoying that with all the kind of built up infrastructure in front of it and particularly like when we come to build out around it i think it's going to sit in very nicely indeed so yeah let's come on and do a lot of detailing
we have the main part of our downtown inn and it looks kind of strange without anything around it, I will fully admit. But some of these views coming into it, I'm so super pleased with. And you can imagine once these layers are kind of built up in front of it, it's going to look pretty, pretty awesome indeed. Particularly out actually from this side, I'm really enjoying this kind of aspect to it where it sort of peaks in height, comes down, and peaks again over here. Yeah, <laughs> really pleased. In the way of detailing, this was incredibly awkward, this shape to do in vanilla, and I think in hindsight I probably wouldn't centre everything around a circle in vanilla cities again without move it and reco and things like that for buildings and of course things like surface paint to it. It can be pretty troublesome, but we've got so many people walking around our downtown as well. It's very satisfying, <laughs> just to point out. So I have got a few kind of places where it's like random tree plopped in the middle of buildings, like here well there's not really a lot that i can do with that space so yeah a couple of areas like this so a little bit more than my actual liking i would say but uh, yeah, most of it looks pretty good like here you know just the little green belt around this building we've just added in a bush line and a couple of trees looks very nice there um same with this little corner absolutely loving the fence hedge combo it's probably sticking out a little bit far on this side but then actually with the jacaranda tree here too really really pleased with how that looks and i did also really struggle with this it cluster it just wasn't coming in how i wanted so i actually decided to put in another archway up here right in front of our statue which i think works really really well i'm kind of super pleased with that so actually i've tried to make this a bit of a thing and so i've left in the one that i originally put in and we've got three running down this main street so yeah, lots of these kind of got giant glass archways, which I feel like could be a bit of a feature for Fionilla, coming all the way up and down and into here. So many cyclists, yes. We are really liking how that's kind of all come together. And we have got a ton of people using the Metro. You can see them flowing out here. So that network is working really, really nicely indeed. I'm um, just carrying on the kind of detailing review as well. Again, trees packed into here. We've added in actually a little cafe at this point. Um, we've got a couple of those. And then we've got a nice little food court area. I left it grass because the tiles just weren't really sitting in right with the kind of path pattern around it. But I feel like this works quite nicely as a green open space behind these shops as well, particularly when you see things like this, like the little cafe entrances and the shop door entrances back in onto this little path area. Quite pleased with that. We've got a ton of pathways going in between buildings and in around buildings. So you can see here like loads of people coming and going uh, down these, these little walkways, particularly on the pedestrian path as we flow through here as well. All the way down here, so many people gathering outside the buildings as well. It's just like a flood of activity around the downtown. It just, yeah, feels great. And we've added in a few of the hotels and retreats parks down here. So we've got a little outdoor gym, a playground and a cafe around these. I'm thinking we'll probably come into residential this side. So that seemed appropriate. Um, but yeah, I, oh, also to, <laughs> to point, I obviously completely forgot services, which I'm pretty sure I did in Oridon as well, actually, when I did that downtown in Italy. So we have actually popped in a crematorium in the middle here, which got rid of some of the awkward, nasty zoning, actually, which I wasn't too keen on anyway. I feel like that sits in quite nicely as a bit of a feature building in and amongst all of these skyscrapers. Then as we come down here past the Hearts of Career assets, we've got a fire station, just kind of snugly stuck in here behind the shopping centres, so quite pleased with that. And a hospital actually out the front here, which again got rid of some of that vanilla commercial that I wasn't too keen on on this corner. <laughs> So I think that sits in quite nicely. It does feel really built up around this area, actually, like very packed in with the zoning. There wasn't much space actually to do any detailing in really around here. This annoying grass border on this asset is very frustrating because it's part of the asset, so we can't place anything over it. Wish we had a little bit of surface painter for that, but never mind. So yeah, that was really it. Um, so yeah, very, very, very pleased with how it has come out, even if we look in the shadow from over this side. Um, and super excited to get onto these districts around it. If you've got ideas for other things to do, then please let me know. Like I said, the plan at the moment is obviously massive park in here, stadium over here, government district courthouse over here, and a little bit of a kind of reclaimed old industrial gentrified area uh, next to our train tracks over this side. Yeah, if you have other suggestions for things to put around our downtown or styles you would like to see, please do drop them in the comments below. 
But that is going to be all for today. So if you have enjoyed the video, likes, comments and shares are really greatly appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button to get notifications for more City Skylines content. But that is all from me for now. So thank you so much for tuning in and I will catch you again next time. Bye bye.